It's about that time. We wanted to take this opportunity to meet the candidates. And we have here with us the Democratic nominee for the mayor of the city of Torrington, Mr. Stephen Ivane. Stephen? Mac, thanks for having me. Appreciate no problem. Thank you for taking time to talk to our audience. Always. Now, uh, Stephen, <clears throat> running for mayor is not an easy task. No. Um, talk to our audience a little bit about some of the things that you would like to see take place in the city of Torrington to help the city grow and become more prosperous. What, what we're taking on is economic development. We need business growth in our community. Uh, we need to expand the grand list. These are the only things that will address our rising tax rates. We need to change that direction, but for us, we need to change the votes to get that moving. We need to look at expanding industrial parks to have space for industrial commercial businesses to move to town. And we have to reorganize City Hall to uh, take, take on that bottleneck that we currently have to help people through the process. Uh, we need to put a project plan. Every, everyone that wants to come in and start something, we need to have a plan for them. We need, they need to know how long that's going to take, what the costs are, and how to go about doing that. Right now, there is no project plan. And for us to attract those businesses, they need something definitive. They need cooperation from their city hall. We need to make that happen. So uh, for us to do all the things we need to do as a community, we have to improve the revenue situations. For us to fund the schools, fix the roads, uh, take care of the disrepair we have of our municipal buildings. We need that revenue. We cannot cut the budget to growth. It's the revenue. We have to focus, renewed focus, on the revenue aspect of it, and that is business. We, we have, Torrington has all the infrastructure already. We have Route 8 going right down the center of town. We have four exits off each side. Uh, we, we have gas, water, sewer, uh, electrical. We have it all. It's right there. We have areas we have new and old uh, zones uh, for commercial. They could come, but we have to enable them to come. We, we cannot uh, just stall and uh, really not provide any kind of guidance on that front. So we have a lot to improve on in, in those respects. Now, that's a lot, Steve. Um, and how, how do you feel about... Uh, opening up the government to make it a little more transparent because there seemingly is a disconnect between City Hall and we the people. There is. Uh, I've, I've received a lot of feedback on that front that uh, we should really be more transparent on uh, many different ways. And I, I think that public feedback is important for us to help guide us in the right direction. But generally, you would have uh, commissions that would help us move forward in different ways, and that too would be open to the public. Uh, we need to revive our arts commissions. We need to revive our economic commissions that have been dormant for years. And why is that? We keep on killing off these initiatives and nothing happens. We need uh, to really back up some initiatives that are already started. We have this big arts movement and they need a different level of cooperation from City Hall to make that even better and grow. We should really foster these relationships that we already have in our city. Um, Steve, if I didn't know any better, I would say you're a serious candidate. I am serious. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I would tend to think that one of the reasons why you're as serious as you are is maybe because the campaign manager that you have is just the opposite. <laughs> I, and you know what? We're sitting here talking and I wouldn't be surprised if he just like bounced on the stage right now and started just like doing his thing, you know? Because that's how he rolls. Well, we, we have an incredible person in uh, Georgia. Oh, no! Hey, hey. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we candidate Steve. I would believe in Steve. Steve's got a heart. Steve has got insight. He's got experience in finance. He's been dealing with Fortune 500 companies uh, as a financial financial director. So Steve's got a lot of good attributes. He he has a uh, like I said he he's the third generation in the city. Um, believes in the city, not only in the art but in also developing industry and making it a better place for all to live in. So I'm running for treasurer. <laughs> so, so I got my word in there. And, uh, <laughs> Nothing like a shameless plug. <laughs> so, so anyway, so, so thank you for giving me a few minutes. And, uh, so thanks, George. All right, thank you. <laughs> my oh my, what an animated partner you have yes, in this venture. Uh, George is totally energized uh, by our campaign, so I, I appreciate that partnership uh, that he brought to uh, our committee and our campaign. And as a former nominee of the Democratic uh, Party, I'm sure he knows the ins and outs of uh, what you need to do in order to get yes. elected. Uh, G George has done it all already, so uh, I definitely appreciate his guidance on, on these fronts. Great. It's going to enable us to do take on big, better, projects for our city. What, what's, what's in it for me? It's my hometown. I'm a third generation, as George says. Uh, I'm here to stay. I only want to make these improvements. I'm not going to be moving away after I retire. It's going to be here for everybody and the next generation. I want my kids and my kids' kids to prosper in this place, and we can make that happen. Absolutely, we can. Thank you so much, Stephen, for taking time you, to talk to our audience. I'm sure they're very grateful. Now, if anybody wants to donate or contribute to your campaign, how do they make that happen? Uh, they can go to uh, electstephenivane.com. Electstephenivane.com. You heard? Spread the word. Thank you. You got love for your city. City views, city views. City views. City, city.